welcome back to my channel my name is Jacqueline please share subscribe to my channel with friends and family also thumbs up also comment below uh, any comments that is relevant to the topic I'm going to cover today or any questions that you might have today I'm going to talk about the travel and tourism sector of Ghana and also the strategies that's been implemented due to the COVID-19 some changes has been uh, inserted and we would I would like to uh, discuss this with you all and I think it's very important to abide by these laws and also to keep yourself updated on a regular basis Basis and to know what is really going on is make it is very important for you to uh, make sure that if any of those things I'm gonna mention uh, you kind of uh, have a rethink of your travel to Ghana or if you have already booked a ticket if you have any of those symptoms unfortunately you won't be able to make an entry to Kotoka Airport itself now uh, Ghana Common Health has outlined that if anyone with the following symptoms uh, travel to Ghana unfortunately you won't be able to make an entry to Ghana and therefore you probably have to have a rescheduled flight as soon as possible back to the country you flew from so the first a uh, few symptoms are a cold or flu-like symptom. So anything regarding a cold and flu-like symptoms, such as a cough or a high temperature or any uh, symptoms such as you're feeling a bit feverish or anything like that, you would have to think of canceling your flight with the, the catered airline that you um, booked with. Of course, uh, I know a few airlines that are quite good. I normally fly with British Airways. They're quite flexible. Uh, however, you do have to check with your own airline. British Airways, however, are very good when it comes to customer service and also the satisfaction of their customers. So it's very, very important to also, as an airline, to kind of be flexible because uh, due to this uncertain times, of course, uh, we don't know what can happen to anybody tomorrow in terms of one day you might feel better, the other day you might not feel that good, and also you might develop a flu or cold symptom or high temperature so it's quite not common so we can't really predict but however within the 72 hours which has been outlined by Ghana Common uh, Wealth within the 72 hours if you do however develop a high temperature or anything like that please you do have to think of cancelling your flight and rescheduling your flight at the later state also there are a few things that are very very important so there's a few uh, other implementation of strategies uh, implemented by Ghana Common Health which is done uh, just to prevent any outbreak of the COVID-19 and for the safety of their people living in the Ghana and also the safety of your own self uh, your health wise so you don't want to put yourself at risk and you don't want to put other people at risk as well so let's go on and talk about how uh, Ghana Common Health has also put a few um, strategies uh, regarding uh, a few things that you would have to do before you travel to Ghana. So uh, before you fly to Ghana, so this is also known as your pre-flight, uh, during your pre-flight before you travel, there's going to be a few of uh, questionnaires that you would have to answer. So a few uh, health risk uh, assessment that you'd have to un undertake and you would have to uh, fill this in as clearly and as honestly as possible because this will indicate whether you are ready and healthy to actually travel to Ghana in general. And also after this, you would also have to make sure that you abide by the law. So in terms of uh, face mask, you would have to agree on this one as well that you're gonna, uh, during your travel to Ghana, during your flight, as well in general you'll be wearing face masks throughout your journey and also the third one is you would have to take a COVID-19 test uh, 72 hours before you fly to Ghana as well and this has to be passed on to a, a system that they've created and you have to submit this to the common uh, Ghana Common Health which they will also have uh, uh, access to and if this however comes back as positive then unfortunately you would have to cancel your flight and also uh, if this if it comes back as negative then of course you're lucky and also you're more than free to travel to Ghana of course however uh, there's also a few things that you would have to do on board um, this is also called a health uh, check so there's a documentation a few forms that you would have to fill in 
and you would have to uh, honestly also uh, fill in everything uh, based on how you feel and also if there's any temperatures or any feelings that you're feeling uh, you would have to fill this in also when you get to the airport there will be some sort of uh, system going on this system was already going on when I traveled to Ghana around early uh, early march yes so early march i went to ghana i only went for nine days lucky myself before the lockdown i got back about a week or two before the lockdown actually took place however if i'm going to talk about this the health system uh, in terms of the health system implemented within Kotoka Airport uh, when, upon arrival uh, is some sort of system that uh, they have this screen there so when uh, you arrive at the airport uh, you would have to go to uh, security and all of that but before you even get to security they do the health check first so there's a, a screen um, system which is like a screening and it will be screening you inside out and also it, it checks your temperature as well automatically as well so if they see any sign of temperature then unfortunately you would have to uh, return back to the country you flee uh, from so it's very very important to make sure that you're honest to yourself so that you yourself won't be wasting your money to travel all the way to Ghana whilst you have the symptoms and also the risk of other people and to be honest to yourself uh, because you're putting yourself at risk by traveling whilst you're ill as well and if you're not then I do wish you a pleasant flight in general and also do remember that within the 72 hours of uh, departure you would have to make sure that you submit your COVID-19 test and also if there's any symptoms whatsoever or any changes in your health you do have to make sure that you um, you let the the airport or even the the catered flight that you are flying with my apologies for that uh, any airport or any airline especially that you're flying with make sure that you inform them on this and uh, the earlier you do it the, the sooner the better they say and I think it is important to make sure you do advise them on time so that you can have a refund possibly it depends on the airline you're taking as myself as I said before British Airways is one of the most flexible airline you can travel with and they also um, really in terms of their customers they find their customers very very important so uh when it comes to customer service they're very 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 um ahead of this at all times and they make sure that their customers are all satisfied at all times as long as you do things right of course uh, so do make sure that you uh inform your airlines on time so if you have any changes do make sure that you do so so that you can have a refund or possibly if it, even if it's not a refund uh, a change of date just for your own safety and also to abide by uh, Ghana common health as well uh, there's no way you'll be able to get access to Ghana because the the health check there uh, within Kotoka airport is very very strict so if you do go and they find out within the screening that unfortunately you're not fit enough and you do have any of those symptoms uh, outlined uh, you will return back to where you traveled from and also unfortunately uh, you will lose a big sum of money uh, depending on how much you spend but however it's still a cost it's still a loss in profit so you do have to make sure that you abide by these laws and I do wish you all if you are traveling uh, a, a safe journey in general keep updated uh, on my channel I'll be updating more as more information comes by I'll be keeping updates on a regular basis Basis. I'll also share a few uh, travel and uh, travel places, uh, tourism places, of course. So tourist attractions, uh, tourist places that you could visit within Ghana. I did share a few. However, there's more to come. And also with some changes, changes uh, outlined at this point, there's a, st uh, a few tourist places uh, that remain uh, closed. And there's a few tourist places who are gradually uh, opening their doors to tourists. So please, 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 before you travel to Ghana, make sure that um, you are ahead of these things. I will, however, personally uh, be up uh, uploading any videos regarding this so that 
that you are uh, updated to any changes that might uh, happen or uh, take place uh, before you travel to Ghana. However, please share, subscribe to my channel. Any comments that you have, please comment below. Anything, any questions that you have, please comment below. If there's anything I can do better uh, to improve my video in the future, please also comment below, share your opinion. I'll be more than happy to also reply to your comments in the long run and also have a lovely day. Please share and subscribe with friends and family. And I thank you for watching. Thank you.